grandma is back and she did another video I think grandma left grandpa again it's keeping up with the Kardashians but the grandparent version I'm just really really feeling really sad today I miss him so much I'm so sad <laughs> Okay, quick little update. Grandma decided to join the Booty Blasting 3000 Club. That's when she started meeting Chad. And now Chad was busting her... <laughs> Chad was busting her booty more than three times a day. And so she decided to leave Grandpa. And now uh, Chad has left grandma and that is why grandma is bawling her eyes out some people think that you know when you're the one to leave a marriage that it's easy and you're just instantly happy and that's not true it's not true it's incredibly difficult i agree grandma not to get your booty blasted more than three times every week is incredibly difficult to walk away from i'm sorry I hope that you'll forgive me. Welcome back, family. Today we will review this woman who regrets divorcing her husband for Chad. Mm. But now that she got pumped and dumped by Chad, she starts to ask for forgiveness to her ex-husband after Chad dumped her. Mm. My boyfriend of two years moved out mm. ten days ago, and I'm just really, really feeling really sad mm. today. I miss him so much. There's a reason why you guys broke up, right? Uh, you probably wanted something better, so you know you gotta you gotta stick with that decision and you gotta move forward. And I know that I know it's the right decision, but it's just it's so hard. I never understood people which do this, you know, when they're sad or whatever, that they start recording it. I get that you're sad, and I get that you're going through something, but. Why record it? Why film yourself when you're when you're crying? I've never filmed myself when I'm crying. I hate taking pictures in general. I'm so sad. Mm. <laughs> and I wish I could be mad at him. It would make it so much easier, but I can't. There's no anger. There's only love. <laughs> Doesn't grandma have like a job? Doesn't she work with anything? Does she just film TikToks all day? I'd love if I could just sit all day and just film TikToks about my feelings, but that's not how it is. That's not how the world works. You can't just be filming TikToks all day. And I know I have valid reasons. And I know it's the best thing in the end, but it's so hard. It's so hard. I miss him so much. This reminds me a lot about that scene in The Sixth Sense. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Sixth Sense is a mouthful to pronounce. But anyway, it's that little kid which is behind the blanket and he's like, I see dead people. I see dead people. And it's, you're just watching it and you're like, hey, this reminds me a lot of that actually. If you're going through the same thing, I just want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you're going through this. <laughs> and you're really strong. It takes a really strong oh, person God. to do this. And to not change their mind and say, you know what, forget it. Forget everything I said. Just come back. I don't want to be alone. And I'm scared to be alone. Yeah, being alone is very scary, guys. It is... And dying alone is also very scary. You know, some people to nowadays, they don't even understand what they're doing. They don't understand that sometimes the people which you need around you are the people that you can trust. Not maybe really the people which you are super sexually attracted to. I get it. Being in a relationship and as a woman, I think as a woman, since you are just like the employee and you're just 
almost like receiving everything, it's very easy to criticize and it's very easy to say, he's not sexually satisfying me and this and that. And I understand there is like, there's a pressure when it comes to a relationship, but you also have to be smart enough to understand when to move. Never move off emotion. And I feel like so many women nowadays, they just moving off emotion. Sometimes you gotta assess, you gotta assess from a perspective of like, you're trying to hire somebody or you're trying to find out which characteristics are positive and negative when it comes to you building a family with this person, right? And sometimes the person which you overlook is actually the person which cares about you the most. Chad busts down those cheeks so good that she cannot stop talking about him in almost all her videos. Shit. This breakup affected her so much that she started to question all her life decisions, including regretting why she left her husband because he was a good man. Check it out. In the last little while, I have been feeling like I don't know what I want to do with my life. I thought I wanted to be a life coach, but now I'm not sure. What I really want to do is help women leave relationships. <laughs> Your dream is to help women leave relationships. To help women become like you, sleeping in their bed and crying all day, complaining about their lives. That's what you want to do my yeah i listen i tr i'm trying like really guys i'm trying to be very nice and i'm trying to be very respectful but it's very difficult when some of the lunacy and some of the stupidity is just right in front of you there's so much that i want to attack but my latest video you know people were like oh you you're such a misogynist oh! so i'm like oh, man i don't want all that heat i got too much heat so i'm like okay maybe i should just like you know be a little bit calmer but there's a there's a lot there's a lot here you know but i honestly i honestly do think that she should be in the new barbie movie because she she's got the aesthetic she looks like kind of like you know the fat barbie who feels stuck people include men in there i want to help anyone who is in a relationship that no longer works for them, is toxic or abusive, I mm. want to help them find a way out. But I have no idea how to do that. I have an idea. Why don't you start with uh, fixing your life first and uh, getting some, you know, experience from your your situation. And then when you're finished with your situation, maybe you can teach people how to do it because if you're a garbage man that works with garbage all day you know and you become really good at working with like trash bags and and garbage and human waste and feces and things like that then maybe you can start teaching other people to <laughs> can start teaching other people to also work like as garbage people and you can like Maybe like have like a collective of garbage people and build a unified society. And if I'm 100% honest, I don't want it to negatively impact my ex. Because he's not a bad person. He did some bad things. He did not treat me as... He did not satisfy you. That's that's why you left. He sexually did not satisfy. Just be... Keep it a buck fifty. He did not satisfy you sexually. That's why you left. Because if he was putting it in the bedroom, I don't think you would have left. And that's just the truth. Nothing against the guy, man. I should have been treated, but he is not a bad person. I do not want to hurt him. And by me saying that I felt stuck in our relationship and wanted to leave for several years. It feels like that hurts him. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I think that the ex-husband is just on a beach somewhere just so happy that he left this or he escaped this. Usually when men break up with women or women break up with men, you see 
the woman go out and she has the party and hang out with her friends but usually the guy is more reserved he isolates himself he starts going to the gym starts making more money we've all been there you know and then after a while you don't even think about it i honestly don't think that the husband is still thinking about her i think he has moved on and he should move on he should not be thinking about this but anyway guys to sum up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it like comment and share hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video peace